it's Jess here from nigesa.co.uk and I'm here with another project using the beautiful uh, snow uh, fall thin lit dies okay and I've made this okay nice little snowy Christmas card and I've used that second biggest snowflake as the O in snow and a couple of little ones dot it around okay nice Christmas card fold it in half like that to go in an ordinary sized envelope um, and there you have it okay stay tuned and I'll show you how I made it so to make this card uh, we need some 12 by 12 whisper white um, which um, I've cut three inches that's three by twelve um, I've cut four squares of um, silver foil card and each square is two and three quarters by two and three quarters and then I've cut four squares of whisper white that is two and a half inches square and that's going to make up um, the base of our card and then we need the large letter framelets and we just need three letters we need an S an N and a W and instead of the O I'm going to use the lovely snowflake from the Snowfall Thinlets so that's the sort of second biggest uh, can you see there? yep so it's the second biggest I'm using there um, I'm also going to use um, the Softly Fallen in Bossing Folder okay and I'm going to do my usual trick of saving on cardstock and I'm going to cut these letters and the snowflake out of the silver foil okay so I'm going to cut those out and come back to you so there we are I've, I've cut out um, there and I, uh, the, the letters and the and, the, and I've embossed um, and I'll just show you I just put the squares towards the bottom end of of the uh, embossing folder so we've got most of the sort of snow falling bit so it's like quite thick okay and I also decided in the gaps that I had here with the letters that I would cut out some of these little um, snowflakes um, which I may or may not, may not use. I'm just thinking about it, really. Um, so we'll just pop all those things out so that we can get on with assembling the card. I really like um, doing these sort of panelled cards. Um, I think they look cute. Right, so I'll just put those out of the way for now. I'll put the snowflakes out of the way when I get out. Uh, just use my pokey tool there to get the snowflake out. And that one. They give you multiples of these little snowflakes so you can make quite a few at a time. Right, so we need to sort this out. Okay, so I'll just bring in my scoreboard. I'm just going to put it on top of those things. It'll be fine. Okay, so three inches deep, 12 inches wide, and we're going to score at three, six, and nine. So we've got three by three panels there. Nice squares all the way along, nice and simple. So you could get four of these out of a piece of 12 by 12. So that's, that's pretty, pretty good going, that. So I'll just give these a little bit of a burnish. I'm going the opposite way, so it's a slight concertina like so slightly squiff there be fine okay so we're going to build up 
these squares. So we're going to stick an S down, it doesn't have to go in that order, and we're going to stick that on top and then stick the letter on top. Okay, so I'm going to glue all that together. I might speed this up as I do it. Um, bring in my Tombow, put some Tombow all the way around the back of this. And stick it down, giving myself an eighth of an inch border all the way around. So that's the silver foil um, done. So now I'm going to stick the um, white card on. And what I've got to decide is do I want it with the thickness at the bottom or the thickness at the top? I think I'm going to go thickness at the top. You could, of course, do it that way. I'm doing it this way. And there we go. And then we're going to stick Letters down. Now we could pop them up on some mini dimensionals if I have them handy. And I've located them. They were just over there because they're always never far away, are they? Whenever I'm trying to find something that I've lost. So I'm gonna. Stick on mini dimensionals and I'm going to cut some in half because even these mini dimensionals are a bit big. So what I'm going to do, because this is quite, you get quite a thick margin here. So if I cut that down, I've got some strips. I will use and I think I'll speed this up because it will be a tad boring to watch I'd imagine That's them done. Um, it would be quite difficult to stick that up on dimensionals um, because of the nature of it. So I'm going to use Tombow. There's some nice thick bits to put blobs on.
I'm going to get my block, put that in place, and then I've got these little snowflakes which will either go on the letters or next to them. Let's have a little think about what we think. I think possibly next to them. I'm going to use a blob in the centre. I'm just going to put one on each panel. And I think that would be enough. A couple of bits there might benefit from another blob. There we go. I think that's it. I think that's all it needs. Don't want to go too mad. And there we have it. A nice little snow card. Which will stand up. It could be a piece of Christmas decoration. Or have it as a block on the table. Or just as a nice Christmas card. And it will fold up. And that should still go in an envelope. It's quite thick. It will be more than um, uh, ordinary letter. Might even be bigger than large letter. Unless you put it in an envelope that way. Um, which actually might be a bad idea. Let's get an envelope. So that will go in an ordinary envelope in half like that and then it won't be too thick and it will go large letter okay there we go hope you like that all the details will be on my blog nigeza.co.uk there's a link in the description bar there's a link to my shop don't forget these beautiful dies are while well, stocks last in november and then they're gone okay see you again soon Bye bye